Hello friends, it's Carla, your online doctor with today's Live in 5. Today is Tuesday, December 8th. It is 5 p.m. Okay, so one of the hottest topics right now in the medical literature because of its potential in possibly neutralizing the COVID-19 virus is quercetin. Okay, this natural compound is perhaps the most abundant of a group of pigments found in plants known as flavonoids. It is found in many fruits, especially citrus, apples, berries, as well as green leafy vegetables, seeds, nuts, green tea, and even dark chocolate. Okay, if you read anything about nutrition, none of that should surprise you as being beneficial foods you should be eating. But quercetin may be something that you may not be on your radar. Now, quercetin exerts considerable health benefits as an important antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compound. Now, recent research has focused on its immune enhancing and antiviral aspects. It has been shown to block infectivity of a variety of viruses by inhibiting multiple processes in the virus life cycle. Okay, so not just COVID-19, but other viruses, including influenza. Now, the excitement with quercetin as an answer to COVID-19 was the result of the possibility that quercetin may enhance the antiviral effects of ionic zinc. Okay, when zinc is unbound in its free ionic state, it exerts significant action in blocking viruses from replicating by inhibiting an enzyme produced by the virus called replicase. Without this, viruses just can't replicate. <laughs> they can't reproduce, okay? So quercetin acts as a zinc ionophore. So it basically creates a channel that allows a free ionic zinc to enter an infected cell or basically any cell, and in case of an infected cell, block viral replication like, hallelujah, this is awesome. So how does quercetin affect the COVID-19 virus specifically? A review article from October by Italian researchers outlines the potential benefits of quercetin for prevention and treatment of COVID-19. Now, one area that is emphasized is how it can neutralize the virus at its binding or spike proteins. If you've read anything about COVID, you know about that. The spike proteins of the virus attach to the surface of human cells at the ACE2 receptor. This is the entryway to the cell for the virus. Now, quercetin exerts significant inhibition on the binding of spike proteins to ACE2 receptors, thereby blocking the ability of the virus to infect human cells. Excellent. Quercetin also has been shown to directly neutralize viral proteins that are critical for replication. Now, all of these findings will need to be tested in clinical trials for mainstream doctors to give it the okay. But if the dosage is too low in the trials to reach adequate tissue levels, the benefits may not be seen. So it's going to depend on how... Um, important it is for the researchers to prove that this is effective if they have pharmaceutical companies uh, if pharmaceutical companies have doctors in their back pocket i assure you the dose is going to be too low and it will not show efficacy so reader beware watch what you're reading on the effects of quercetin and check the dosages because i assure you that these studies that don't want to show its effectiveness because there is no money in it for pharmaceutical companies um, is going to show that it's ineffective and their dosages will probably be too low. Regular quercetin is not absorbed well, so experts recommend liposomal varieties or compounds bound to fat molecules to increase absorption. In this form, um, recommended dose is 250 milligrams twice a day for prevention, and even higher if you become symptomatic, meaning any type of viral symptoms, or test positive. So I've read as high as 1,000 milligrams three times in a day, four hours apart, 
along with 500 milligrams of vitamin C at the same time. Now, again, that's if you test positive or have symptoms. No side effects have been reported, even at higher doses, but it may increase absorption of blood pressure meds or other drugs. So if you're looking to take quercetin and you're on any type of medication, consult your healthcare provider before making that addition. Okay, so seriously, I have been reading about all kinds of things and I added this to my um, supplement routine about a month ago. Just one more thing in my arsenal that I'm using to boost my antiviral benefits. All right, so hope this finds all of you well. You're having a great day and I will see you again on Thursday for another Live in Five.